everyone. I am Claudette Robinson, First Lady of Motown and an original miracle. I am speaking now as a tribute to my dear, dear friend, Mary, Mary Wilson, who meant so much to me over the years. We didn't just become friends, but we became sisters, sisters of song, and we spent a great deal of time with each other. In fact, we spent even more time in our latter years than we had in our very first years because unfortunately, I stopped performing in 1965. And that's when Motown was really, really getting it on. But we had been, as the Miracles, the very first group. And so therefore, Mary and Diane and Florence and uh, Barbara came to my home to do their first audition before they came to meet Mr. Gordy to do an audition. And I will forever, forever think of all the wonderful times that we had together, but on top of that, the wonderful times that came about as a result of just being friends. Mary was always so kind, so very, very, um, generous with her time. She often would come to visit. You know, we did um, many things together that had to do with the uh, industry as far as the Grammy Museum and uh, so many other things that happened, Motown 60. And the love that I had for her, and I believe the love that she had for me will be forever cherished. We will, she will live on forever through her music and song. But I wanna say, I am so thankful for the times that we had, and I want to give my heartfelt condolences to her family, her children, as well as her grandchildren, whom she loved dearly. And I know that they will miss her. And if there's ever anything that I can do to help, to share, to whatever may be, please don't hesitate to call on me and just know that I will be here for you. Mary had such a zest for life. She spent a great deal of time like taking time out always for others. When there was anything involved, she always brought us all together in some sort of way so that we knew that um, we were all family. Family as far as the music industry, but also even though we were not blood related, we had a time that uh, there could not be any more closeness than what we shared as far as the industry and as family. I loved her then, I love her now. And I just wanna say, thank you, Mary, for all that you shared and all that you gave to all of us. And rest in heaven, and one day we will all gather together and be there to share that music and song. Love you, Mary, God bless you, thinking of you, day and night, and it has been kind of a sad time, but I know that you would not want us to be sad, so I try my best not to be, because that's what you would have wanted. But I love you, and I miss you greatly, and I just want so much, and wish so much, that you could still be here because we had so much more to share to the world and you gave so much. And I hope that I can stand up for your legacy as Mary Wilson of the Supremes and the Supremes legacy, which goes far beyond anything that I can ever imagine because the one thing is that three black girls shared to the world their music and song and had 12 first number one records in the world. And you still hold that record. 
and you did so much in terms of continuing the legacy of the Supremes with all the gowns and all the uh, traveling and touring that you did for that. Thank you, Mary. We love you. We'll always love you. And my heart is there. And I hope that forever and ever, everyone will remember all the wonderful things that you did in terms of Motown, the Supremes, and the legacy goes on. God bless you. I love you forever. My love to you.